Since the start of the global pandemic, the viability and popularity of Twitch has absolutely skyrocketed over this time. Do you find yourself wanting to get in on the action, but you don't really want to play modern games? That's the position I found myself in, and I've got the video today breaking down exactly what you need to do today to start streaming retro games onto Twitch. What's going on you guys, my name is Cody and I'm a variety streamer over on Twitch with a focus in retro video games. I hit affiliate in about under two weeks while streaming mostly retro video games, which tells me it's absolutely viable if you wanna stream retro games and grow on Twitch. This video is gonna show you exactly all the equipment and software that you're gonna to need to get started streaming retro games onto Twitch. So what you're gonna need for this, guys, is your retro gaming console. You're gonna need, the, obviously, the power source and the red, yellow, and white cables that come with the console. Next up, you're gonna need a PC or a Mac to run your broadcasting software of choice on. I personally use OBS Studio, but you can use anything if it's Streamlabs OBS. I just personally use OBS Studio. You're gonna need several USB plugins. This is gonna be really important, um, more so for the streaming side of things, because you're gonna to need to plug in your capture card which we'll get into later, a capture card into your computer to capture everything. I run my camera and microphone out of, obviously the USB ports, cause I gotta be connected to your computer, but I just got this dongle off Amazon. It was about 30 bucks, I think. And since I have the newer Mac that has only USB-C, um, it was really important for me to get this cause it doesn't have USB type A. So you're gonna need a lot of US USB type A ports. Uh, to get this going. If you can avoid it, don't make the same mistake I did. I only bought a Mac because I was finishing up my last year of college and I didn't really have Twitch streaming in mind. Save yourself the hassle and get a PC if you can because everything runs much smoother on PC, in my experience. Next, what you're gonna need is the Ghana Mini AV to HDMI upscaler. This upscaler is essentially what's gonna convert all the video, audio and video cables into an HDMI format, which we're then gonna send through a capture card. But what we want is the composite cables as the input and HDMI as the output, because if you have it reverse, it will not work. Next, what you're gonna need is a capture card. I personally use the Elgato HD60S. Last thing you're gonna need is your TV or monitor uh, to play your retro games on. Personally, I just throw my TV up on my, de my gaming desk because um, I don't have a game monitor, but honestly, you can use either. It's not a big deal either way. Software. So for software, you're gonna need the Elgato capture software downloaded, um, which will come with your Elgato. In addition to that, I use OBS Studio, but whatever your OBS, whatever your broadcasting software you wanna use is, make sure you have that downloaded, obviously, if you're gonna be streaming to Twitch. Finally, for me, the way I run it, I need OBS Link, um, which basically connects your capture card to OBS. All right, guys, let's get into the process. So what you're gonna do is plug in your retro gaming console and make sure all the AV cables are connected. Then plug in all your AV cables into the Ghana AV to HDMI upscaler, and then plug the upscaler into a power source. It doesn't need to be your computer. Some of the other stuff does, like the capture card, but this, you can just plug it into whatever power source you have. Next, what you wanna do is plug the HDMI port into the input side of the capture card. Uh, that you're gonna be using and connect the capture card to your laptop. Where it becomes important for me as a Mac user to use your dongle, that sounded horrible. You need a dongle as a Mac user. We need to plug in multiple USB-A ports into our computer, such as the mic and the camera, but connect the capture card here to your laptop. Finally, you're gonna plug in your HDMI cord from the HD60S into your TV and turn on the retro console. If everything's running smoothly and plugged in with power, you should see the retro game onto your TV. All right guys, once you've got everything connected, you're gonna open your OBS software and you're gonna click this plus sign down here in the sources. From here, you're gonna click NDI source. And then I'm just gonna leave it as NDI source as the name. You can name it whatever you want, click okay. From the drop down, we're gonna go ahead and click on this one that says OBS link here. We are gonna add it. It's gonna search for the source. And once it connects, you will see that the game, here we go, is right on our OBS. And obviously you can resize it as you need to. 
there you have it guys that's basically the process from here you should be ready to go to start streaming to twitch or if you want to start making youtube videos you can use the record function on uh, obs studio it's a really nice free software that should give you everything that you need guys if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing because i'm definitely going to be coming out with more um, videos on Twitch and retro gaming. So if you enjoyed this and you maybe want to come hang out, watch me play some retro games, feel free to come check me out at twitch.tv slash Cody Rico. Join the Discord. It's in the video box below. Uh, in the Discord, you can ask me any questions you have about Twitch, about getting retro games set up, anything like that. We'd love to have you. We've got a great community. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you there. Thanks, guys.